everybody. My name is Cindy Strode and I work at the William B. Harlan Memorial Library. Welcome to our story time. Today we're going to read an Easter book. The title of our book is The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wayne. "'Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn." Everybody's still asleep. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter bunny soon would be there. They've got their Easter bunny sitting on the table waiting for him. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. They're dreaming about all those jelly beans and all that good stuff that he's going to put into their basket. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. Ah, there's the Easter Bunny. He's woken everybody in the barn. He walked on two legs, which I thought was kind of funny. No rabbit could do that, except the Easter Bunny. There he is. He's pushing his cart with his candy. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. He's walking through the yard. Then up to our house, in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. There he comes toward the house. He's bringing all the candy. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. Came into the house. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes how they sparkle, his whiskers how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. Look at him all dressed up in his little vest and tie. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Filling them up. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spill from our baskets and onto the floor. There's candy going everywhere. Look at the kitty. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. What do you all think he's going to do with those eggs? He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. He's hid the eggs in the house, didn't he? When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. He's finished filling the Easter baskets, so he's leaving. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. I hope you all enjoyed our Easter book today. Remember, be safe and be kind. Thank you.